So today I'm going to share with you a little project I've been working on for my travel trailer, my RV. I needed uh, a solution to uh, repacking bearings and testing brakes at that point uh, since I had everything torn apart and I didn't really have a suitable way of spinning the wheel and making sure the brakes were engaging uh, without manually running back and forth to the front of the trailer, engaging the brakes, pulling the emergency, you know, and seeing if it would uh, lock up the brakes, which is another test I also need to do, but I was just more interested in um, brake controller if it was activating my brakes after doing the uh, brake job. So this little short video is going to be to show you a repurposed case I had. It was just a camera case. It was a Nanak a 920. Uh, I used it for a drone actually uh, and so what we turned it into is a trailer brake tester. You can see we got trailer plug on the side, seven way, um, open it up and all these parts I'll put links to um, in this video so you can consider it for yourself but basically here's the tester. So we've got a, a tester here just you can pick up anywhere, this seven way tester. And uh, go ahead and hook it up here. Sorry, this is a one handed operation. Okay, so uh, what we've got here is a uh, multiple test using this little remote control. It's actually wireless. So uh, you got a wireless controller right here. We've got a relay. So this is the wireless relay. And then this is a timer relay over here for the brakes because I didn't want the brakes to be solid on. Guess we could actually, you could actually bypass this if you just wanted to toggle them on and off remote with the fob, you could do that. So, um, and then of course you got your flashers for testing right and left turn signals. I had a bunch of the Makita, um, 18 volt batteries for all my tools and found this little adapter here um, that allows you to, well, it's got a power switch on it here too. Let's turn it on. And then what that allows it to do is come into a step down uh, converter down to 12 volt. And then uh, I've got a bus here for uh, 20 amp uh, fuses. But basically the way it works is quite simple. You uh, Push a button on the re on the remote switch, and that is the right turn signal. You can turn that one off. You can go to the left turn signal, and then we'll shut that off. And you've got marker lights, so those are all the lights on the trailer. And then, of course, you get the brake. Now, on the brake, what happens is I've got the timer programmed where it's uh, this upside down. So let me switch around here so you can see what we're actually looking at. So what it's doing is when you see the outline uh, power LED come on, then the output is uh, engaging the brakes for the amount of time you see here. So then it cuts out, you've got a delay where it cuts out and it just keeps cycling through this. So um, it's really handy when you're spinning the wheel, you can engage this from the, gosh, I hook this in at the front of the trailer, and then I just spin the wheel and it'll lock up and then it'll release, and then you can spin it again the other direction, and you can listen to your brakes and see, you know, if they're engaging correctly, if the magnet's working right, you know, if, you're, if you've got any kind of uh, issues with uh, the brakes, uh, you hear kind of any kind of noise or it's not engaging correctly, then it gives you a good idea of what's going on and it's so convenient. So I just wanted to share this with you today. Uh, it's a real handy little tool for me. I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of it, but I saw several other videos and I'm gonna uh, post those as reference as well. So you can see where this has kind of evolved to. Um, actually, um, the other videos don't include this timer here, which is the whole purpose of really why, why, I, why I wanted to create this box. Um, and the other videos, I don't think they went to install flashers. For me, you know, I just want to see my lights flash. If it's a turn signal I'm testing, I want to see it a turn signal. So um, 
anyway, I'll uh, show you a quick video with it hooked up and then uh, the links and you can uh, ask any questions that you have and hopefully uh, this help you do the same if you're uh, doing your own brake jobs and you want to test your brakes handy little tool to have and you can get all the parts on Amazon okay so uh, I've got it hooked up to the trailer uh, just gonna go through a test I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on it's got a little power switch right here and that'll engage the power to the convert or re the converter so now let's walk around and take a look at this okay so we got the uh, axle elevated here i've already finished my brake job we've got um, you can hear a little bit of noise from that brake shoe in there it's pretty tight tolerance so if i spin this and then engage this brake test it locks it right up and then wait a few seconds and it releases and it locks up again you can set that timer for whatever you want I just wanted to have it long enough so I could actually see it engage and hear it I wanted to hear that magnet so that's a really handy little tool to have and then of course I can turn it off there it's disengaged now and so now it's free to play there let's take you around and show you the lights okay so here we've got right turn signal yeah and we turn that one off go to left turn signal and then marker lights all working well and this gives you a chance to walk around. You can toggle these on. You can leave multiple on at one time. So I've got a turn signal and marker lights on. You can turn them off individually. You can actually program this fob to do however you want it to do. It'll release one and engage another. So as you select these, you can have it turn off the previous one or just only you know engage one. Handy little tool to have. So there you go. Uh, hopefully it helps you. And uh, thanks for watching.